Hello and welcome to the Faculty of Engineering and Design's virtual tour. This unit will cover the lab spaces used for the School of Architecture, which includes the design, urbanism, conservation, and sustainability programs. This tour was developed by students and researchers of Carleton University in collaboration with the Faculty of Engineering and Design and the Carleton Immersive Media Studio, or SIMS, team. During our tour, we will walk through campus, enter labs, discuss the equipment, and hear from current students about their experience. Each of our destinations will be marked with a red sphere and have been captured within a 360 degree photosphere, which enables you to pan around the three dimensional space. During our transitions from room to room, I encourage you to ask any questions you have about engineering and design at Carleton. Now let's get started. Right off the main street, the pit is a multi-purpose area. It can sit up to 100 people and is used for lectures, meetings, galleries, and reviews. Reviews are when students present their work and get feedback from faculty, professors, and their fellow students. All of the classrooms and lecture halls are flexible spaces. They contain fold-away chairs so the space can be used as a gallery for design presentations. The structure of teaching is critique-based. The white wall is known as a crit wall. Once a student has drafted a design concept or model, they place it on the wall for critiques from both students and teachers. This allows the student to learn how to respond to critiques while receiving feedback. The Digital Fabrication Lab and Soft Lab are located in room 214 of the Architecture Building. The Soft Lab is equipped with sewing machines, both heavy and light duty, layout tables, mannequins, and ironing boards and irons. This space can be used for any work related to soft materials. The Digital Fabrication area also contains the print shop and a loan pool where you can borrow equipment from the fabrication facilities. You also have access to CNC machines, 3D printers, and laser cutters here. This area also contains the metal shop. This is the metal bending area of the shop. As you can see, this room contains a lot of tools and different machines for students to use on their projects. Students can choose to work with metal for their models or prototypes. This area also has specialized equipment to manipulate all different types of metals. This is the wood shop. It's one of the best and largest shop facilities in a school of architecture in Canada. It's fully staffed and supervised by expert technicians. It's what makes the Israeli School of Architecture and Urbanism so renowned. All first year students must attend and pass a wood shop orientation in order to use the facility. It consists of four main spaces, the wood shop, metal bending area, welding area, and assembly room, a space where you can build large scale models and objects.
Each year, students get their own studio workspace. There is typically one teacher assistant to 15 students. Students will spend half of the year working on hand drawing skills, while the other half is spent on learning the ins and outs of computer drawing. There are three computer labs in this building, which provide the students with the programs they need to complete any school project so they don't have to buy them themselves. We have now reached the end of our tour. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them now or email us at engineeringoutreach at carlton.ca. Best of luck and I hope to see you around.